So, Kazim, we've got many wonderful circuits this year. We have Marrakesh, which is uh, a fantastic street circuit. Have you been on a, a street circuit before? No worries, no worries. It will be my first time in the street circuit, but I'm really excited about that. Well, it's quite a, it's quite a tight one, and uh, there are walls everywhere, so make sure you don't hit any of those. Are there any circuits that you are particularly looking forward to this year? I think Silverstone, the, the first race, is going to be a really good race. Then I'm looking for the Monza, the other Ben Hatch, uh, Silverstone, like I told. I think most of the tracks which will go, which are going to have in 2010 are really great, and other two tracks, Silver, uh, the Marques and Zolder, are new for me. Mm -hmm. But I'm expecting to be fast everywhere. I think you will be. We saw in winter testing that you can top the time sheets, and all last year you were fast. So I suppose you're thinking about the Williams Formula One test. Of course, it's a great prize, and like all other drivers, I'm expecting, I'm hoping, I will try. I will put my best to win the championship and the prize is really great with winning the championship you get the opportunity to test Formula 1 and after that maybe the, the doors will open for Formula 1, what you know? Well definitely, Andy Suchek of course, having won the championship last year, got his test with Williams and now he's a, a driver for, uh, for Virgin F1 so I think it, the doors will open, this is exactly what Formula 2 is, is for and speaking of Andy Suchek, he's been testing the new car across the winter which you're going to get to drive for the first time at the official test at Snetterton. You've got more downforce, you've got more grip from the tyres, you have more power from the engine. So are you looking forward to getting in the car? I'm really excited. I saw that the car is almost three seconds faster than in 2009. Faster than World Series by Renault. The, the car weighs 20 kilos less, 20 horsepower more, 20% more downforce. The most important thing for me is the downforce in the front and the bigger front tires because my driving style is that I need really a lot of uh, downforce and grip in the front and with bigger tires, with better front downforce, I think I will be even faster than in 2009 and I'm really excited for that. I'm really happy to join Formula 2 again. Well, we saw race wins last year, so if the car suits you even more this year, maybe we'll see even more and I guess one of the things you're looking forward to the most out of all the circuits and the cars, they're probably the uh, the grid girls. Is that is that right? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's, it's hard, you know. When you're sitting in the car before the start, you're really, really down. You see everything <laughs> that is happening there. Uh, it's a great part of the, the, the race weekend. Well, Kazim, good luck. Okay, thank it's you. It's going to be a fantastic year. Yeah, thank you. The JPH1 Formula 2 car has been improved in a number of areas uh, between 2009 and 2010. The main areas of improvement are increased power by changes to the turbo and some engine peripheries, uh, an increase in downforce which is accompanied by a efficiency improvement as well. Total downforce is up by 30%, efficiency, efficiency is improved by 24%. We've also saved significant weight around the car including changing the gearbox and transfer box housings from aluminium material to magnesium. The weight saving on those two components alone is almost 10 kilos. The added effect of saving weight at the rear of the car is to shift the weight distribution forwards, which works rather nicely with the increased diameter front tyre that we've introduced for 2010. The improvements to the aerodynamics of the car have been made in three key areas. The first one is improving the underfloor flow. This has been done by changing the front wing end plates and the addition of barge boards. The effect of improving the underfloor flow was to shift the centre of pressure forwards on the car. So to combat this and to work with this, we've increased the range of rear wing angles that can be used in 2010 and also trimmed the front flap to reduce the, effect, the effectiveness of the front flap slightly. Motorsport, I feel it's uh, very important for drivers to feel safe and secure within the cockpit of their racing car. You know, they spend a lot of money on, on helmets and, and overalls and, and all other equipment associated with the, with their race car, so why not invest in a, in a great seat infill, which is, which is what we do. Uh, our range of infills offer a, a complete solution, we feel, to, to a, what appears to be a bit of a problem at the moment. Um, we take the time working with the drivers, you know, we, it's a long process, but we feel it's important to get the driver feeling as comfortable and secure as possible. And, you know, it's important that they feel you know, connected to the car 
and uh, that's something that we believe we can achieve. Um, we work, we start off purely by uh, putting the driver inside the cockpit with our seat infill uh, and we work with the driver to, to, to find the, the best position for them, the optimum position which you know, gives them the most comfort but also meets any safety requirements as well uh, which is, is obviously important. Um, the, the great thing about this system is it gives us a lot of time to ensure we've got the seat absolutely perfect for the driver which is imperative and, and you know, we were, we're able to, to achieve that. Overall our, our seat infills are very light, you know, they're very strong uh, and, and complete with our covering uh, we offer a, a really good product uh, and it's obviously something that uh, more and more drivers are becoming aware of and, uh, and seeing the benefits of. So you know, it's something that we're very proud of and, um, and, and happy to see in, in so many uh, applications not only in single seaters but sports cars, touring cars um, you know, even carts, you know, it's, uh, it's got a, a wide range of, of applications, which is great. So uh, we're really happy. Talk about Formula 2 steering. Maybe it looks a little bit complicated, but it's really easy to use it. Yep. The first and really important button is the boost. We can use it eight times per race. And the first button, the first boost, we use it in the start. For example, when we put the second gear. And then we have other eight shots, which we can use whenever we want. The best time to use it is when you try to overtake the driver or you try to catch somebody else. So it's a really useful button and it helps to make the race more interesting for the people which are looking the race and of course for the driver. The other really important button is the front wing. You can put less or more wing and you can make it from 1 to 8 degrees it's really sensitive even you change half degree and it helps to change the car balance during the race for example if you start the race with more fuel then you have less the balance is changing you're coming to the driver you're losing the front grip you need to put for more front wing there are many 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 ways how you can change it then we have some other things, the gears changes are here, shift up, shift down, and here is the clutch. In cockpit we have also some other things, the, the brake balance, like in every other car. And then the other very import, important and interesting thing is the front roll bar. The driver can change the front roll bar inside a car. There are, there are three different positions, soft medium and hard and as well this the front roll bar is quite sensitive and it helps the driver to to, to, to change the car balance to improve the, the feeling of the car during the race. 